Hello, this is the other guy, and welcome to the Nova Cooldown Framework built in 001. Um, currently, this is very basic, and uh, this isn't actually a proper tutorial over it, unfortunately, just due to the fact of right now it's not really at a point where I can do a proper tutorial over it, unfortunately. I'm hoping to have stuff like terrain generation and mount er, and cave generation figured out a little bit more along with making sure the system can remember what it's built and build accordingly so it doesn't just spawn things on top of each other. Um, and I will have a link to the actual stuff, or to the actual script in the description, so I'm going to go ahead and just get into the generation and explain kind of how it works. Now this is kind of an advanced script, so if you just jump into it, be warned, it's not very easy to figure out because, or it's not terribly, not, it's pretty simple once you realize what it's doing, but until then I have a feeling it's just kind of a mess to look at just because of the way I structured it, unfortunately. Um, and we're going to go ahead and actually get into the generation itself, and I'll very quickly explain how it works. Okay, gen testing. Alright, so first it does, it goes ahead and checks the X and the Y of the map and stores, or it goes ahead and checks them against two storage variables labeled gen storage X and Y, and goes ahead and starts putting down tiles and adding 32 to gen storage X until it gets to the end of the map, and then adds it to Y, and then goes ahead and goes back along the X, because it resets it to zero once it reaches the, or once it adds the Y and so on and so forth. This one goes ahead and starts in the middle and just randomly adds tiles in any direction along with randomly adding grass and trees. It's very primitive and it doesn't really check to see what it's doing. This other path system is just the same path system. Sometimes if it has too big of a loop, 001 will say infinite loop and I believe that's just a bug unfortunately. Um, and I have a pathing system, which is just a basic road, and it literally just does the same thing those paths do, except it adds 32 at a time in one direction, then chooses a random direction to go, and all it does is make sure that it's not going to go out of the boundaries of the map. Uh, buildings, finally, are very similar to these. I'm going to go to multi-buildings. Um, and they literally just pick a random spot on the map, start in one direction, go across, go across, go across, and come back. They literally just move along the X, move along Y, then go back across the X and back up the Y. So they're very simple and their script is in there. They also pick random spots to put doors. It's very primitive right now, unfortunately, but it's a start. So um, I should have a download link in the description. So you know, go check it out. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment or ask on the Discord. Um, if you haven't joined the Discord, go 001 site. They got a link to it. and uh, They, or I should be there to hopefully answer questions at the other guy. So, yeah. Uh, that's about it. That's all I got right now, unfortunately. It's very basic right now. I'm hoping to do a full tutorial over this system and actually have it where it's not so messy, if that's the right word. It's just kind of nothing more than randomly dropping stuff down right now, unfortunately. But I should have a, a decent framework built by, I'm hoping next week, but I could be wrong. Um, so until next time, this has been the other guy. Um, subscribe if you want to. If not, bye.